Today's going to show about 7.5 proportions and similar triangles. Essential question of the day is how will proportions be set up with overlapping triangles? So all examples deal with overlapping triangles. How will we set up a proportion with that? So if you're given, if you're given overlapping triangles, then we can say a certain proportion. The distance of RT to TQ is going to be the same reduced fraction as RU to US. So let's say we have this as an example where there's numbers in these places but there's an X in this missing place. What that proportion is saying, we can take 4 to 8 and set it equal X to 12 and set that equal to X to 12. We can figure out a missing side of an overlapping triangle. Now we're going to cross multiply and divide. And then we divide both sides by 8. That missing side is going to be 6. 6 inches, 6, six feet, whatever, um, whatever we're producing. So, smaller triangle to trapezoid, we're going 22 to x needs to equal a piece from the small triangle to the trapezoid, 20 to 10. We'll cross multiply and divide. After we divide both sides by 20, I, yeah, x is 11. Let's again find the value of x. I want you to try this on your own. So in this, you've got to pick a rhythm of, pick, go from, and, and because I picked the rhythm, go from the small triangle to the trapezoid. The trapezoid is this blue figure that I'm highlighting. So I'm going to pick x and compare it with 15, and then that's going to equal 3 to 9. So x to 15 equals 3 to 9. Some of you chose to go the other way, meaning 15 to x equals 9 to 3, and your arrows would be pointing at p, and that's okay. You would still get an answer of 5. So if I cross multiply, I get 9x equaling 45. Divide both sides by 9, x is 5. All right, ladies and gents, if you highlight that trapezoid, so we're going to pick a number from the small triangle, match it to a number in the trapezoid. But you've got to make sure you're still running along these sides. So 10 is going to be compared to 14. Y is going to be compared to 21. 10 to 14 equals Y to 21. You could have gone backwards, like having 14 to 10 equals 21 to Y. 